Hello champs, in this video we are going to have a look at SAP Business Warehouse Logistics Extraction. We are going to take the example of a sales and distribution data source and see how it is set up for extraction in SAP BW. So let's get on with it. There are some prerequisites that need to be satisfied before you start with extraction. That would be choose your data source. Now for this demonstration I have chosen the data source 2LIS 11VAHDR which is supplies header data for sales orders. You can choose your own data source. Identify the setup table, which follows the naming convention MC, followed by the application number, the event, a zero, the type of X data source, whether it's header, item, or schedule line, and the keyword setup. Choose your delta mechanism. You can either choose direct delta, queued delta, or unserialized v3, depending on your needs. Let's look at LO extraction step by step. First step is to install your data source from business content via the T code RSA5. The second step is to check and if needed, customize the data source in post-processing of data sources via the T code RSA6. In the third step, maintain the data sources transfer structure and regenerate the data source in the logistics cockpit that is via the T code LBWE. In the fourth step, which takes place on the BW system, replicate the data source in SAP BW workbench using the T code RSA1. In the fifth step, activate the extraction structures and select your update method. Again, in the logistics cockpit via the transaction code LBWE. In the sixth step, delete the data in the setup tables using the transaction LBWG. Now this step will ensure that you do not get any junk data in your initialization run. In the next step, fill the setup tables with your application data using the transaction code SBIW. In the next step, go back to your BW system and create an info package for Delta initialization in RSA1. Finally, if you have chosen either Q Delta or unserialized V3 as your update method, then you need to schedule a job using job control in LBWE, which runs either hourly or nightly, depending on which update mode you have chosen and bring data into your Delta Q, which will then be available to the info package for Delta extraction. Finally, maintain your info package for delta extraction in RSA1. So now that we have seen all the steps one by one, let's go ahead and do the practicals. But before we do that, let's just go through all the T codes that we need to use. RSA5, then RSA6, LBWE, go to your BW system, RSA1, come back to your ACC system, LBWE. Delete your data in the setup tables, LBWG. Fill the data in the setup tables, SBIW. Go back to your BW system and create your info package for Delta initialization, RSA1. Come back to your uh, ECC system and schedule V3 collective run using the transaction code LBWE job control. Finally, maintain the info package for Delta extraction. So let's go ahead and see how we can do it practically. So the first step here is to go to the T code RSA5 which gives you a business content data sources. Navigate to the appropriate application component and select your data sources. Click on activate data sources. Once the data source is active, go to the transaction code RSA6 and check whether it's available now in the active mode. So it looks like our data source is active. If you want in RSA6, you can enhance the data source as well. Now go, go to your logistics cockpit via the T code LBWE. Browse to your data source from your application component. Maintain the extract structure by clicking on the maintenance link. On the left hand side, you have the fields that are selected for extraction 
and on the right hand side you have all the fields and uh, available from the different communication communication structures feeding into this data source you can see that there are two communication structures that are feeding into our data source mcvbak and mcvbuk once you have decided which fields you want in your extraction you can go ahead and say yes confirm once you confirm the fields you need to regenerate the data source in order for the changes to reflect in the data source so do that by clicking on the under the data source on the data source name it will ask you for a transport request say yes save the data source now that we have finished this step go back to your bw system and type in rsa1 which is the t code for your sap bw workbench go to the data sources tab under modeling browse to the ap application component hierarchy and check whether your data source is available if it was replicated at an earlier date it might be available but in this case i don't we don't see it here so we can go ahead and replicate metadata for this application component in order to replicate our data source once the metadata is replicated you should be able to find the data source but as you can see it is in in the bw3.x version which is denoted by a white dot just beside the data source icon so you can migrate it migrate it to a 7.0 version or 7.x version by using the migrate option once it is migrated just search for it there it is sales document header data now go back to your ecc system to your logistics extraction customizing cockpit lbwe browse to your application again and activate your extraction structure there you go it is active now along with this step you can even choose which kind of delta you want to maintain whether it's direct delta cube delta or unserialized v3 for I, for our demonstration i'm going to use the cube delta method now that we have maintained the data source ex, data sources extraction structures we can go ahead and initialize our setup tables go back to your ecc system and delete data from your setup tables lb wg choose your application number and delete data setup tables deleted successfully and you can check whether there is any data in that by going to the appropriate setup table for your data source for in our case it's mc11 ba0 hdr setup there you go you do not have any entries in that now you can go ahead and fill the setup table with new data for that you need to go to the transaction code sbiw in sbiw navigate to the settings for application specific data sources pi then go to your logistics system and open up managing extract structures under managing extract structures open up initialization and filling in setup table then go to your application specific setup for statistical data here you will find different transactions which will help you in filling up the setup tables for different applications so choose the right one for your application and execute this application can also be reached via the transaction code oli7bw choose a name for your run and give it appropriate timing
if you want you can go ahead and enter the selection criteria but i'm going to extract for the entire application for all the company codes and sales organizations that are available in the system so i'm just going i'm just going to go ahead and run this setup remember you are doing all these steps in the ecc system there you go your setup has completed you can check whether your table setup table is filled or not by again executing the transaction code se16 and looking for table entries you can see that you have 6876 records in the table you will not understand these entries but just so that you know that your setup table is now filled at this stage go back to your bw system and create the info package on your data source select the update mode as initialize delta process with the initialization with data transfer selected save the info package and schedule your initialization let's go ahead and check whether our initialization is running looks like we are good let's go to the data loading monitor and check for details great it's already finished extracting your records let's just check how many records extracted 6876 just the exact number that was available in our setup table so our setup is good now you can also see that a delta would be a delta q would be initialized for this particular data source in order to see that go to your initialization or delta info package and click on scheduler and initialization options for source system option there you go you have your delta q active now you can also check this delta q in your ecc system by going to the transaction code rsa7 there you go that's our delta in order to maintain the, uh, the v3 collection run job go to the t code lbwe which is your logistic cockpit go to your application and select job control you can see that you can maintain a start date and print parameters for that maintain the start date and schedule a job it's fairly easy to do after you maintain a start date you can immediately say immediately save it and you can schedule a job after you maintain the print parameters obviously the system is not configured for the print parameters so i'm just, just going to skip this step but you can the the idea is that you can maintain you have to maintain the v3 collection run in order for your delta to be picked up if you remember the q delta uh, which is serialized v3 and the unserialized v3 update use a v3 collective run which is a manually triggered job inside the ecc system and this and this particular option the job control will help you trigger that job at periodic intervals uh, hourly as uh, advised by sap in case of q delta now once you are done you are good to go uh, your your uh, sap bw q or bw delta q is already set up you can see that in rsa7 and in order for this queue to be filled up with data you need to uh, in case of queue delta and uh, unserialized v3 you need to maintain the job uh, the v3 collective run job so i believe that completes our video thank you for watching and happy learning